in this video i'll be doing these two questions which are based on the generalized fermat's factorization so let me to quickly recall what is generalized fermat factorization this i did in my last video i've added the link in the description say we have been given x square congruent to y square mod n this congruent is given to us and we want to factor this integer n so this is the question factor the integer n but somehow we know that there are two integers x and y such that x square is congruent to y square mod n and we also have this condition that x is not congruent to plus minus y mod n so then we proved in my last video that if these two conditions hold then x minus y and n the gcd of these two integer will give me a non trivial factor of n this will give me a non trivial factor of n so now we will use this information to find the answer for the first question so here is the first question and this is the question number 2 for the first question as we can see that we have been given that 97 square this is congruent to 5 square mod 391 so we just need to check the second condition which is this one we see that 97 this is not congruent to plus minus 5 mod 391 so as it satisfy the condition so we can immediately calculate gcd of so we can see this further that 97 plus 5 so that is 102 it is not divisible by 391 and if i just subtract 97 minus 5 so that is 92 which is also not divisible by 391 so both the conditions are satisfied so 97 minus 5 and the gcd with 391 which is 23 so 391 this is equal to 23 into 17 so we can find the factor corresponding to 391 now similarly in the question number 2 i am going to use the same algorithm here but now this is not exactly in this format so there is a slight difference and we need to search for x and y with the given information what is the given information the given information is 119 square this is congruent to 50 mod 14111 and we have been also given 168 square this is congruent to 2 mod One four triple one. Now multiply these two. So when I multiply these two congruences, what we get? We get one one nine into one sixty eight square, and on the right side we got fifty into two, and then we have mod one four one one one. Now in this case, uh, as we can see, fifty can be further written it as ten uh, into five. okay and 2 as it is but 10 further can be written as 2 into 5 so that and then we already have 5 into 2 which means 2 is appearing two times and 5 is appearing two times so i can write it as 2 into 5 square with respect to same mod 1 4 1 1 1 may treat this as x you can multiply and if this is larger than this we can further reduce if it is smaller we can keep it as it is x and this is y now we have x square y square so this fits my first condition and i'll check the second condition it satisfy both the conditions so i can simply say the gcd of x minus y x is 119 into 168 minus y that is 2 into 5 which is 10 and with n which is this this is 103 so 103 is a non trivial factor so 14 triple 1 this is equal to 103 into 137 this gives the factorization corresponding to the integer